Exiled to Australia as convicts, they were thousands of miles from all that was familiar. But the work of four artists produced some of the most significant and elegant portraits of Australia's colonial period. Here are 80 remarkable artworks, works which are rich in history, providing a glimpse of life in the fledgling colonies of New South Wales and Van Diemen's Land. For actor John Waters, there's a familiarity with many of the characters he's played in early colonial period dramas. The gaze of the subjects is, is very genuine, very modern in, a, in, in quite a, a number of cases. They're not all flattering, and, and, I, and I like that. You know, they're just like from life, and that's what they are. What you get when you look at their works collectively is this wonderful, vivid sort of cross-section, or a map even, of the sorts of people that composed society. There are drawings, watercolours and miniatures the work of four convicts who came in chains to the penal colonies. They may have been convicts exiled to Australia, but the four artists in this exhibition created some of the most significant and elegant portraits of the early colonial period. Quickly the talents were noticed and they filled a demand. Everyone sought out these artists to demonstrate their status with a portrait. There are portraits of governors, judges, explorers and former convicts. And at a time when relations between the colonists and Aboriginal people had deteriorated, they managed to create very non-judgmental images of Aboriginal people. They succeeded in representing them as individuals and as characters, not just as specimens or types. The exhibition provides a very rare opportunity to see many of the works. Most are on paper and are so fragile that they need to be permanently kept in storage out of the light. Some have never been exhibited before. They'll be shown at the National Portrait Gallery and later this year, Tasmania. Gordon Taylor, ABC News, Canberra.